Hi friends, good morning. It is Saturday morning. We are getting close to the end of January. Um, I say it every week, but I just, it's just hard to believe how fast time flies. Um, I've actually had though a really wonderful week. Um, once a month, my sister comes and spends a week here to uh, spend time with my mom and to free me up to go do something else. So I was supposed to go visit my dad this week, but uh, the day before I was getting ready to go, I found out that my dad and his wife were just getting over COVID, but they were still uh, testing positive. So I did not go to South Carolina and um, really did want to go somewhere that I could just spend some time um less distracted and more rested and able to um do some writing and some other things that i had been wanting to do so um i was at a good morning i think that might be you joy i see your message there thank you so much friends if you hop on while um we're on the live this morning say good morning and um let me know that you're here so i can um say hey back to you and thank you for joining this morning hi pebbles it's good to see you today um i really appreciate you uh leaving a comment and hey listen also if you are watching on the replay um put it in the comments as well that you uh, that you were on today that you were watching and that you were watching it on the replay so i can say hey to you later or tomorrow <laughs> whichever one so um anyway i was saying um, uh, my sister was here this past week. Um, I was supposed to go to South Carolina to visit my dad. I still haven't seen my dad and his wife, Millie, um, for Christmas yet, <laughs> but uh, their gifts are sitting right over there and I'll, I'll get there next month, I guess. Um, but my sister comes to kind of give me a chance to go do something else. And this past week, since I couldn't go to South Carolina and I really didn't have any place else to go and didn't want to spend the money renting an Airbnb, Airbnb somewhere. What I did is I called my daughter and said, hey, can I stay in your guest room for a few nights just to have some time um, to rest and do some work uh, where I would not be distracted. So that's what I did. <laughs> so at the beginning of the year, I had this idea that, um, you know, a lot of uh, people have, um, have mentioned to me um, over time here and there, wow, I really love the things you post on Facebook in the morning. And um, I got to tell you, you know, sometimes I wake up in the morning and I'm like, I have no idea what I'm going to write today. And um, I, it's usually the very first thing that I do. And um, I just kind of prayerfully look through some scriptures and some things, maybe some a Facebook post that I've taken a screenshot of that I really liked that I wanted to have some time to think about. And so um, I, every single morning, something comes to me that I want to share with all of you. And then I'll have people who will send me messages and say, thank you so much for that message this morning. It really spoke to my heart. Um, I mean, sometimes you see the comments on Facebook, Sometimes I get Facebook, uh, I get private messages um, from people. Um, and sometimes I've even gotten phone calls and um, people have just said, you know, or video chats and people have just said, you know, I just, I just really want to thank you for what you do and the time that you take to write out these lovely posts that encourage me every morning. So in January, when, when we started the new year, I had this idea you know, on Facebook, you can't really, it's very hard to go back and find something that you really liked before. <laughs> so you might have seen a post and like, there's just how do you sift through that and find it? It's really monotonous. It's kind of hard. Um, and so what I decided to do this year is to start a blog. So my blog is called Bringing Hope, Building Faith, which is long, and it's uh, dot blog but and i know it's long but if you like the blog you can 
um, you know, a book market. And so it makes it really easy to get, so you don't have to type that name out every single time. And I can put, um, in fact, I'll do that right now. I will put the blog uh, name here. Um, let's see, bring hope, bringing hope, building faith dot B L O D. I think I have that right. Let's see, bringing hope, building faith. Yes. And so that is the blog post address, the web address, but I wanted to show you what it looks like. Now, I do have a, um, there is still a glitch. I am working with WordPress on clearing this glitch and maybe you won't see it if you get on, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and skip right over this one here that says blog post because um, it's not showing the right thing. And this one here that says post bite. Can y'all see this? Oh gosh, I don't even know. Can you see that? Um, I don't think I did a share. Hold on just a second now. I think that's the problem. I need to do that. <laughs> that would really, really help, wouldn't it? <laughs> I think, let's see. Uh, sorry about that, friends. I wasn't thinking. I hadn't had it on share. Okay, so I think you can see it now, and now I can't see you, so I'm hoping that you can see it. <laughs> um, so I was saying, I have a, a little bit of a glitch. I'm working with WordPress on this. I just had some communication from them this morning with some suggestions as to why this is happening and how to fix it. So I will work on that later today. I didn't have time this morning before this. But um, on the top here where it says blog posts, I'm gonna skip that one because um, it doesn't have the right content on the page. Now over here where it says post by date, uh, that's the one that's supposed to be there. And it's, it's correct, but it's supposed to say blog posts. So anyway, wrong name, correct content wrong uh wrong name this is this is not supposed to be there this the, this content is over here in art gallery so anyway i'm going to go back to home this is the new uh blog post website um and it has um so on the front page um it has just a little bit about me so and i mean a little bit about the, the blog here on the home page and i did this because um, if you refer friends to this, um, then, and they don't know me, maybe they're not on Facebook. You know, there's a lot of people that aren't on Facebook or social media. Um, they would miss out on this. And if you wanted to, to say, Hey, a friend of mine wrote something today that would be really encouraging to you, how are they going to go find it? Um, if they're not on Facebook, right? So, um, what I did is I, um, I created the blog for one of those purposes so they wouldn't know very much about me so i wrote a little bit about the blog and why i created the blog in the first place um and then just a little bit about me and this is very briefly here a little bit about me but then over here which you'll see when it's fixed it'll say blog posts but this is what it will look like so all of the blogs are all of the posts that i've done on facebook are all here up until yesterday i don't have yesterday's on here but within 24 hours i will post all of these on there and now so how do you know which one it was because i've given them names and on facebook i don't have names right i don't have a title so but you'll see um if you can remember some parts of the blog or the, or the post that you liked um, you can read the beginning of the, the post, the beginning of the first paragraph. And I think you can even go here and you can actually read the whole thing. I think there's a way to open this up and, um, well, maybe not. But if you click it, it will take you to the post that you saw on Facebook. And um, it's all written here. Now, the really fun part is, uh, one, you can leave a, a reply right here on the blog. So even if you're not on Facebook or on social media, um, you could uh, reply to me if you don't even know me and you just liked this and you want to thank me for it or just share something with you, how God used it to um, to help you in some way in your own life. So um, you would have that ability to do that. Another thing that's really cool about this is that when I'm creating things on Facebook, 
I only have so much uh, room. Um, if, well, I mean, I have lots of room, but to be less distracting, I usually only will have one picture. Um, the fun thing is that, um, okay, for instance, on this post, you re might remember this one. This was from my New Year's Day post, and I have that one picture. But, you know, you may remember if you saw that I went bowling with my family the night before. So what I did here is I added some pictures at the end that are of my family. So I've got some other posts here that have some additional pictures that you wouldn't normally see on Facebook when I'm posting. So that's another fun addition to going straight to the blog post. And then there's a little bit of something here about me. And maybe some of you don't know some of the things here about me. So um, I've got a little write up here just kind of explaining, well, who is this lady who's writing these? I don't know her. I never heard of her. Um, so I just wanted to um, give this information. Maybe you don't know some things about me, but maybe also you would refer someone to the blog site and um, they wouldn't know anything about me. And so it'll automatically just give them some information that they might be interested in. And then I have art gallery here and the art gallery really is just for people to enjoy the art because part of my testimony um, that I love to share with people is how I've only been doing art and writing for, well, let's see, writing. I started writing with a blog post after my first husband died and he has been gone, let's see, 2008. So what has it been? Almost 15 years. Um, so 15 years ago, I started writing a blog post, uh, I mean, a blog site. Um, I was writing, um, I had a blog that was called Life After Death. So it was my life after his death. And um, I wrote I wrote out the story of my first husband's um, and my journey with his cancer. And then my first year as a widow. Later, those blog posts became a book, Who Am I Without Him?, um, which also included just a lot of my prayers and um, reflections from the one verse in scripture, Isaiah 54, 5, um, your maker is your husband. And so that book is kind of my story in that chapter of my life, um, plus reflections of that scripture. Um, and it is called, Who Am I Without Him? Um, but that's when I fell in love with writing. So I've been writing for about 15 years. Um, and Who Am I Without Him was my first book. Um, my second book that I actually published, but I self-published it on Amazon and wasn't happy with the results of that. I took it off the market and it is going to be relaunched this year um, in the spring, I believe. And it will be much better than the first one. Um, it's going to have a different cover design and a different layout and um, it will be edited by a professional um, uh, publisher but um, that will be my second book and I'm also in the process of process of writing a third book so that's my writing art I have been doing for about 10 years not quite 10 um, maybe more like nine years I have been painting um, you may not know the story behind this but um, back in when my youngest daughter uh, was uh, two or three years old, <clears throat> in the afternoons to get her to nap, <laughs> which this is kind of a funny thing, um, she would curl up on my lap at around two o'clock, which she seemed to always know when it was the right time. And we would put Bob Ross on TV. You know, Bob Ross is the guy who does the oil paintings and he's got the big hair. So um, Bob Ross would paint and um and it, the idea was for my little girl to nap on my lap during this show usually it was me i usually fell asleep and after the show she'd say mom you missed the whole thing <laughs> but i always told my husband i really think i could paint like him like i feel like i could and so for christmas that year he got me all the bob ross art supplies the easel his paintbrushes, the palette, um, all the brushes, I mean, all the uh, paints, every color, the book, a video, the whole nine yards, a really amazing Christmas gift. Um, and I painted 
that first year, maybe even the first year and a half, but it took a really long time for those oils to dry. And I, with little kids in the house, it was really hard to find places to put the paintings after I did them. And they were pretty good. I mean, they weren't great, but I always followed the instructions of his videos and books. So I never really felt like it was me. I just followed instructions well. Um, but in 2013, I went to one of those sip and paint classes and I said, thought, gee, it's not really bad, but I've only ever painted with someone else's instruction. I'd really like to see if I could do it on my own. So I started and somebody actually bought the first painting that I did on my own without anyone else's instruction. Um, and so I kept painting and practicing and painting and practicing. Eventually I went to drawing and you can see here um, some of my sketches that I have done. Um, and I have really loved learning to draw because it has helped me learn to paint things better and with different perspective and that sort of thing. So I just thought people would like to see some of my art since I do talk about how God um, enabled me um, to do something later on in my life that I never thought that I could do. So this is a collection of some of the pieces that I've done. Um, over the past couple of years, um, and they're just a few, just to give people um, some excitement about, you know, when you ask the Lord, because I wanted to be a paint, I, from a little girl, I wanted to be an artist like my grandmother, and um, I never, I never really had the talent, so um, it's, I just thought it would be fun for you to see some of my work, and just to think, wow, if God could do that for her, what could he do for me? And um, it is really here to give people hope and encouragement. So this is the new blog post, Bringing Hope, Building Faith. And um, th there will be four pages to go to, not five. This is a little glitch that I'm going to fix. But basically, you can find the blog post here. Um, and it, they will have all of the posts that I've been posting on Facebook, most of them. A couple of them, I, I'm doing about five or six a week, so one or two will be eliminated. But um, but for the most part, there'll be one posted just about every day of the week, and you'll be able to find these on here. You can also find them by date. If you see um, this, this last one with all your heart is the one that I just recently posted. Um, and each new post on Facebook will be put on here. Um, within 24 to 36 hours after it's posted on Facebook. So um, this is uh, something new, and I thought this might excite some of you. Um, so um, anyway, um, I hope that you um, will uh, visit that site and um, even refer your friends. The really cool thing is that you can subscribe to it. So um at the uh when i post something you know when it gets posted to the blog um site you'll automatically just get a um an email that says um hey uh there's a new blog post and um you can just hop on it so you don't have to go searching for it on facebook um you may see it on Facebook. Maybe you'll glance at it. You won't have really time to read it right away. And then maybe you'll go back later. It'll be hard for you to find it. So it'd be great to go on the site and go ahead and subscribe so that every day when there is a new post um, a, a posted on the blog, you will get it. So um, that was my big announcement today. <laughs> Something new that I'm I'm doing for 2023. Um, and, you know, one of the things that I really felt like the Lord impressed on me in 2022 was getting things in order. So um, that's kind of trickling into 2023 as well. And last year it was getting certain things in my home in order. This year I feel like it's getting some other things um in order as well um and one of them is um you know organizing my pictures and organizing you know I'm, i have seventeen thousand pictures on my on my phone more than that really um and i have been working at getting those organized into folders and, and things like that so that i can find them um i'm going to be doing a little bit more 
kind of organizing the things that I draw and paint this year. Um, I'm kind of sticking with themes for a while here and there. So we'll see how that goes. I kind of like that idea. Um, but we'll see how that uh, how that pans out throughout the year. But anyway, putting some things in order, um, getting some things organized, and um, being a little bit more systematic about um, getting to certain things that I want to do on a regular basis. That's one of the things that I want to accomplish this year. So um, I hope that that is something that you'll take advantage of and that, um, that it'll be something exciting for you to um, be able to get those posts each day as they are put into the blog through an email. So do subscribe and, um, and also um, there'll just be some notifications there as well. Um, for instance, when my new book is relaunched in the spring, um, I'll have a little something on there. I probably have a new page on that post that will um, announce that, you know, my publisher will do a little, uh, whatever, it's maybe 20 second blurb uh, video. And so that'll be on there and that'll be, you'll be able to hear and see what that, um, uh, what the book is about. Um, and when there's, when there's new art and that sort of thing. So that'll always be posted on that as well. And then you'll get updates and you can, you can delete them. You can ignore them. You can read them. You can look at them, but at least they're there when you want to see them or there's something that you'd like to see. So I hope that's a help to you. And I'm pretty excited about the blog post because I think that for me personally, it helps me to get organized with some of the things that I'm doing and um, hey, thanks Pebbles. Pebbles says she's looking forward to checking it out. Yay. <laughs> so I figure I'm already doing the post in the morning, right? So I might as well use it in a way that other people can enjoy it if they're not on social media, especially if they're not on Facebook. A lot of people aren't on Facebook anymore. And so um, if this is something, if the, if the blog site is something that you really enjoy um, and you've subscribed to it and you really like getting those notifications and then you read something that you think a friend would really, uh, would really be encouraged by, you can share that with them. Say, hey, you know, I read these posts every morning from a friend of mine who writes them, blah, blah, blah. Um, and you could forward one of those to them and then they could sign up and get notifications as well. So um, I think that will be something that uh, I hope will grow um, in the future and that it will be an encouragement to a lot of people that um, that wouldn't necessarily um, get that encouragement each day. So that's it for me. I'm actually off to the dentist this morning. Um, I have a... Um, some periodontal work that has to be done and uh, I'm not looking forward to it but that's what I've got on my agenda for this morning and uh, <laughs> I hope you have something a little more enjoyable than that to do today um, even if it's resting so <laughs> um, I hope that you have a super fantastic uh, weekend and I will see you all again next Saturday on well, today it's Fireside Chat, but the name will be changing to Home with Gail, at Home with Gail Ruth. So um, you can be uh, you can be aware of that, that the name will be changing. But today it is still Fireside Chat. So I will see you next Saturday morning at nine o'clock uh, once again um, to chat and to uh, and to share. Y'all have a great weekend. Bye bye.